everybody and welcome back to Nirvana Reactions. I'm Anna and today we are checking out an original song from Cesare. This is Toxic Love. I'm really excited to finally be able to check out an original uh, and from what I hear there's going to be more coming so I'm really excited for that. Let's go ahead and get into this. If you enjoy the video please like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check the description box where you'll find the link to the original video as well as my Cash App, Patreon, and all my social media. All right, let's get into this. I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is, but it's got this very catchy vibe to it where it's like, you know, the lyrics are really serious from what we've heard so far, but the feel of the song, just the piano line, and it's ironic that I'm saying this given that she has a Queen poster up on her wall, but it reminds me a little of the very beginning of the show must go on and it's got that same kind of emotional depth to it of okay we're talking about serious stuff but this is still going to be a bop <laughs> oh, the trouble I see. just on the lyrics of this because I've been in some really toxic relationships and I can relate to a lot of it with like feeling like you're basically being hoodwinked by your partner but also feeling like you can change them and I loved the Bonnie and Clyde part I loved like She's fitting this into so many different, almost like allegorical senses, but at the same time, oh, I just, I think it's important for me personally, at least, to remember that there's always something better out there. And that if you're worried you're gonna die alone because someone has you so convinced that no one else will love you, it's really, really vital at that point to remember that 
they're saying that because they don't want you to leave them. Not that it's actually true. That's exactly what I was talking about. What just flashed up on the screen there? When a toxic person can no longer control you, they will try to control how others see you. It's gaslighting. That's all it is. And we can move past it. We can see the truth about ourselves and learn that our self-worth is not judged by how one individual sees us. The misinformation will feel unfair, but you stay above it. Trusting that other people will eventually see the truth just like you did. I don't know who Jill Blakeway is, but she's clearly very smart. That was fabulous, and I can't wait to check out more originals from her. I'll see you guys in the next one.